Hello everyone. Welcome to the class. Today we'll be starting with parasitology. That is the study of parasites. Okay. So the first topic we are going to study in parasitology is the flagellates. What are the flagellates? One which have got flagella. ठीक है जिनके पास फ्लैजेला होता है उनको हम फ्लैजेलेट्स बोलते हैं ओके तो बेसिकली वी आर वी विल बी स्टडीइंग टू स्पीशीज आउट हियर वन इज जियर्डिया एंड वन इज ट्राइकोनोमस ठीक है ट्राइकोनोमस एंड जियर्डिया लेट्स स्टार्ट विद जियर्डिया फर्स्ट ओके तो व्हाट इज जियर्डिया जियर्डिया क्या होता है जियर्डिया Full name is Giardia lamblia. Lamblia. ठीक है. What is the habitat of Giardia lamblia? Habitat कहाँ पे पाया जाता है? It is found in mucosa of duodenum and upper ileum. So this is where the Giardia is found. Basically, it's a gastrointestinal parasite. Okay. And then morphology, it has trophozoid, trophozoid and cyst form. And cyst form is there. Okay, so how, how, how does this infection happens? Let's see. How this infection of GRDL happens? Let's see that. And so it is ingested with contaminated contaminated food and water okay so basically the root of infection is fico oral okay fico oral root is the root of infection okay so the infective form infective form is the quadrinucleate nucleate cyst you have to remember this one that the infective form for giardia is quadrinucleate cyst you have to remember this is an mcq okay then ingested with contaminated food and water okay um, then uh, what 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 are the symptoms so shown in this uh, infection malabsorption syndromes are seen like like what is seen malabsorption syndrome mein kya dikhai deta hai malabsorption syndrome what is seen uh, fat in stools or bulky stools so in your mcq if you happen to see these two words fat in stools or bulky stool okay so you should immediately think of giardia giardia lambalia okay fine now let's see the cyst form and the morphology of the cyst form and the trophozoite form okay now next so let's see the cyst form See, this is Giardia lamblia. Uh, when we see the trophozoite and the cyst, this is the trophozoite. This is the trophozoite, zoid, trophozoite, and this is the cyst form. So how we will identify? This is see tennis racket appearance. See, does not it looks like tennis racket? This is tennis racket. Tennis racket is like this, right? Something like this. So tennis racket. This is also looks like a tennis racket. So tennis racket appearance. And this is also known as monkey face appearance. Okay. And also teardrop appearance. Teardrop, tear kese hota hai? It's like this, right? So teardrop appearance. Hmm? Fine. Teardrop appearance. 
Now, next kya hai? There are four pairs of flagella. We told that these are the flagellates, so they have flagella in, in them. So how many pairs? Four pairs. Four pairs matlab total eight. Theek hai? You see, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Total four pair of flag flagellas and total eight in number. Theek hai? Now, let's study the cyst form. Cyst, you can see the cyst here. And here in the um, trophozoite, there are two nucleus. Okay, two nucleus are there. But in case of cyst form, we see four nucleus. One, two, three, four. Okay. So this we have to remember. Let's study the cyst form. Four nuclei are present. And this GRDL umbilia infection is associated with common variable immunodeficiency. Common variable immunodeficiency. Okay. So this is, you have to remember, cyst me kya hota hai? Four nuclei are present. This is the important diagnostic characteristic. And in case of trophozoite, two nuclei, then apka uh, this... Uh, Two nuclei, four pairs of flagella. Okay, four pairs of flagella. Balkis mm. tool, yes, remember. In, in case of morphology, this is important. Two nuclei, four pairs of flagella. Tennis racket appearance, and I've got teardrop appearance, drop appearance, monkey face appearance. Okay. Let's see the next slide. This is also uh, same. See, this is uh, the um, trophozoite ventral surface, and this is the trophozoite side view. This is the lateral view of trophozoite uh, of um, Giardia trophozoite. Okay. Let's see. This is the this is apka cyst form of cyst form of Giardia. How we identify? There are four nuclei. This is the nuclei. This is the nuclei. There are four pairs of four nuclei. Not four pairs. Four nuclei. Okay. Four nuclei. This is the cyst wall. These are not important, but uh, you have to remember that four nuclei is the characteristic of um, Giardia lamblia. Next, next. Let's see how we diagnose it. Lab diagnosis. Sample collection. What is the sample we should collect? Yeah, it should be stool. Okay, stool sample and duodenal contents. Okay, microscopy. Me kya dekhte hai ham? We see trophozoite. In case of active infection, in case of carrier, we see cyst. So if we see cyst in microscopy, then that is a carrier C for C carrier cyst. We also do a test by the name of string test or entero test. Okay. So in this, what is done? Bile stained mucus mucus is collected from duodenum. So this may what a cellulose coated. Uh, capsule is uh, given uh, like this is the uh, stomach so a uh, string attached hota hai cellulose uh, uh, ke saath. and then this is taken out and after that uh, this is tested so this is string test okay string test we de do it in giardia okay in bacteriology also we do this type of that is different string test we do a type of string test that is in Vibrio cholera. We do a string test. Okay, Vibrio cholera also we do a string test. Mm -hmm. Now we are done with this. Uh, next, let's see. Okay. 
yeah one thing is left the falling leaf motility drop the giardia have falling leaf motility you have to remember this okay falling leaf motility it's important more important than important only uh, most important thing about giardia is falling leaf motility so let's revise giardia again uh, what we see in giardia pehle kya dekhte hai habitat habitat is habitat is mucosa of uh, habitat habitat mucosa of duodenum and upper ilium okay then it shows falling leaf motility ye yaad rakhna hai humko then morphology mein aata hai trophozoite and cyst which is the infective form this is the cyst form okay then then we studied the root of infection root of infection it is fico oral now how many cysts are required to cause infection infective stage in those that should be 10 to 25 cysts is required to cause infection okay then Mm, we studied about diagnosis lab diagnosis sample collection sample collection that is stool and duodenal contents duodenal contents then uh, we do string or entero test we also do elisa test that is antigen antibody test antigen antibody test if antigen is present that means active infection and antibodies are present that means past infection okay so this is all about giardia and in case of morphology we studied four pairs of flagella okay in case of trophozoite and four nuclei in case of the cyst form okay so we are done with giardia now let's see trichomonas vaginalis let's see what trichomonas <coughs> vaginalis okay so this is the most common parasitic cause of sexually transmitted disease and non gonococcal urethritis theek hai so what are the habitat kaha pe paya jata hai ye it is found in urethra vagina and prostate theek hai so this is basically a sexual sexually transmitted hmm? so trichomonas has only trophozoite trichomonas has only trophozoite no cyst stage cyst stage is present no cyst stage t4 t trichomonas has only trophozoite okay no cyst is there hmm? okay mode of transmission mode of transmission is sexual reservoir are the female and infective and diagnostic stage is the trophozoite so it's okay fine let's see next now we will be talking about the uh, clinical features and then we will talk about the morphology clinical features incubation period is 4 to 28 days okay in case of male kya karta hai it causes urethritis cystitis and prostatitis okay and in case of female it causes strawberry appearance of 
vagina and there is profuse vaginal foul smelling smelling actually smelling discharge ठीक है तो this is strawberry vagina you can see it looks like strawberry this is strawberry strawberry vagina strawberry vagina and this is characteristic of trichomonas mas vaginalis okay so now let's see uh, what is the uh, lab diagnosis now lab diagnosis what do you do to diagnose it in lab we take sample that is discharge from the urethra or vagina theek hai microscopic examination mein we see motility in case of giardia we saw falling leaf motility in case of this uh, trichomonas we see jerky motility also known as twitching motility now the culture media culture media is lash cystine hydro lysate serum theek hai and test also this is known as lc hs test we can do antigen antibody and that is elisa test okay now let's see the morphology morphology this is the giardia you can see here so this is also pear shaped but in case of this we have five flagellas four here and one behind okay four plus one four anterior and one posterior total five flagella are there okay and one nucleus one nucleus remember that in case of trichomonas we don't have cyst form no cyst form only trophozoite is there okay so now we are done with trichomonas and as well as apka uh, giardia lambdas giardia okay so let's do a revision ठीक है ट्राइकोनोमस वेजिनलिस में क्या होता है सिस्टिक स्टेज नहीं होता है ओनली ट्रोफोजाइट स्टेज इज प्रेजेंट ट्रोफोजाइट हैव फाइव पेयर ऑफ फ्लैजेला एंड दे शो ट्विचिंग मोटिलिटी इट कॉजेस कॉजेस आई फॉरगेट टू राइट दिस कॉजेस ट्राइकोमोनियासिस ट्राइकोमोनियासिस ठीक है देन फीचर्स ग्रीनिश greenish frothy discharge then we see strawberry strawberry uh, vagina also known as pulpitis pulpitis macularis theek okay. hai hmm fine so this is all about uh, trichomonas and giardia lambdaceae I hope you understood uh, everything about it and you can answer all the questions related to trichomonas and giardia lambdaceae see you in the next video thank you for listening to the class